ಅರ್ಪಿಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಯಸ್ತೇನೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕೇಯ ಶರ್ಮ ಟೆನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಚೇರ್ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಟು ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಅಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೈ ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಫೈನಾನ್ಸ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಗಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಐ ರೈಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಟು ಆಫರ್ ಮೈ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೇವರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಮೈ ಅಪನಿ ಬಾತ್ ರಖನೆ ಸೆ ಪಹಲೆ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಜೀ ಕೀ ಎಕ್ ಬಾತ್ ಆಪ ಸಭಿ ಕೋ ಯಾದ ದಿಲಾನಾ ಚಾಹೂಂಗಾ ಉನ್ನೇ ಕಹಾ ಥಾ ಕಿ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗತ್ ಕೀ ಶಕ್ತಿಯಾಂ ಪಹಲೆ ಸೆ ಹಮಾರಿ ಹೈ ವೋ ಹಮಿ ಹೈ ಜೋ ಅಪನಿ ಆಂಖೋ ಪರ ಹಾಥ ರಖ ಲೇತೆ ಹೈ ಔರ್ ಫಿರ್ ರೋತೆ ಹೈ ಕಿ ಕಿತನಾ ಅಂಧೇರಾ ಹೈ ಔರ್ ಸಭಾಪತಿ ಜೀ ಜಗತ್ ಕೆ ಪ್ರಬುದ್ಧ ಲೋಗ ಇಸ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಕೋ ದೇಖ ಸಕತೆ ಹೈ ದೇಖ ಪಾ ರಹೆ ಹೈ ಇನ್ ಮೇ ಸೆ ಏಕ ಅಮೆಜಾನ್ ಕೆ ಫೌಂಡರ್ ಜೆಫ್ ಬೇಜಾಸ್ ಔರ್ ಮೈ ಉನ್ಕೋ ಕೋಟ್ ಕರನಾ ಚಾಹತಾ ಹೂ ಐ ಪ್ರಿಡಿಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ದ ಡೈನಮಿಸಮ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ವೇರ್ ಐ ಗೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರೋಥ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಐಸೆ ಹಿ ಔರ್ ಎಕ್ ಪ್ರಬುದ್ಧ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಫೌಂಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಬಿಲ್ ಗೇಟ್ಸ್ ವೋ ಕಹತೆ ಹೈ ಉನ್ಕೋ ಭೀ ಮೈ ಕೋಟ್ ಕರತಾ ಹೂ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಥ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಟುಡೇ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ ಗ್ರೋಥ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಡೆಮೋಕ್ರೆಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಜಿಕ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಇವೆಂಚುಲಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ದಟ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಕೋಟ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟ್ ಅ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಫ್ಲಾಗ್ಶಿಪ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡೆಮಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ರಿಸಿಲಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪೈಟ್ ಅ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಇನ್ವಾಯರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ ಆಗಸ್ಟೀನ್ ತಾನೋಫ್ ಕೋಮೆ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ರಿಮಾರ್ಕೆಬಲಿ ರಿಸಿಲಿಯಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿಟೀರಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಇನ್ವಾಯರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ರೋ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಅದರ್ ಇಮರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಇಕಾನಮೀಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಧ್ರುವ್ ಶರ್ಮಾ ದ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿಸ್ಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಥರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇಸ್ ದ ವೆಲ್ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ರಿಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಸ್ಪಿಲ್ ಓವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ನ್ಯಾವಿಗೇಟ್ ಗ್ಲೋಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೊಮೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ಸರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಎಮ್ ಟೀನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಾಚ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋದಿ ನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಡೈಮ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿನ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಏಟ್ ಕರೋಡ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಕಾಚ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹೆವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಜನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಎಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟೀಲೆ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟೀಲಿನಾ ಜಾರ್ಜೀವಿಯಾ ರಿಮಾರ್ಕ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಡಿಸರ್ವ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಹೊರೈಸನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಅ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಕಾನಮಿ ಈವನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಪಿನ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ರಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್
by my previous speakers on the budget. Some lauded it for its far-sightedness, or some of us also praised it as physically prudent document, while some suggested mod modifications. Some even complained about lack of attention towards a particular sector. Even the industry leaders welcomed the budget with open arms. So, however, sir, something was missing unless our learned speaker, uh, an honorable former finance minister, who I hold in high esteem, stood up in the, and expressed his views. Hearing these opinions, I am reminded of an appropriate share by Gulzar Sahib. Zindagi ke daud mein ek tumhi fursat mein ho. Saalo pehle jaisa dekha tha, aaj bhi bilkul waise hi ho. Sir, the honorable members, lev level of optimism has remained unchanged from his budget speech in 2017. Casting doubt on the future of digital transactions in India, not only did he dismiss its functioning, but also looked down upon the capabilities of our citizens, particularly the female vegetable vendors, sir. It was these small vendors that proved him wrong when India accounted for 46% of all digital payments in the world. And UPI transactions now account for 80% of all digital payments in India. Sir, I hope on this monthly travel, when the Honorable Former Finance Minister, please listen, we'll be better informed. I hope on this, his monthly travels of thousand, Honorable Chair, I would like to ask the members not please to continue. disturb. I hope on his monthly travels, the Honorable Finance, Former Finance Minister, please look out of the window and see that if every nook and cranny and corner of this country, you will find digital transactions happening. Sir, as per the government's economic survey, the growth rate is projected at 7%. The same forecast is being done by agencies like the IMF. Let's assume what he said is the truth, and the wrong deflators are being used by the government to fudge the growth rate. Does he intend to say that even international institutions are erring in their projections? As senior opposition leaders, they are expected to give constructive criticism and not fuel doubts among citizens. Sir, it is a great misfortune that a noble scheme of giving free ration during the distressing times of COVID was attempted to be labelled as the flag bearer of economic crisis in India. I asked the members what are their opinions on the programmes like Form Zero, which is also called Zero Hunger, a programme run by the government of Brazil, or Deconsa, a programme which is run by the government of Mexico, emphasising on giving free or subsidised ration to its needy citizens. Even a superpower like the US runs the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program called SNAP, providing assistance to low-income families to purchase eligible food in, in authorized retail food stores. So we should be proud that India, despite its limited resources and difficult times, has been able to feed over 80 crore citizens through Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan An Anya Yojana. Sir, there was also this talk of badla lo, kursi bachao, various sorts of statements were passed. Sir, I don't want to get into these, but I would definitely like to say that, you know, these are times where our country looks up to the, both the houses, and especially our house, the House of Elders. And we must set a precedence and an example as to what can we bring to the table to add to the problem that exists at hand. We must use this opportunity to build, to communicate this to the polity of the country, because they have a lot of faith in us. Sir, Another esteemed colleague, a senior esteemed colleague, spoke about taxes like England and services like Somalia. Why are, why are we trivializing another country's progress, problems and challenges, sir? Through the chair, I would like to ask the August House, is this the kind of debate we want in the House of Elders? What kind of a message are we sending to a friendly nation with which we have shared strong diplomatic ties for 64 years? This is not our Bharti Sanskriti to look down upon anyone. I even request the chair to expunge these remarks. Sir, sir, and let's look at the number of some basic commodities. Please continue. Sir, honorable chair, honorable member, I will seek your indulgence so that I can complete my speech. And let's look at the number of some basic commodities since we are talking about the differences between England, Somalia, and the taxes in India. Sir, in India, the cost of one litre of milk is 56 to 57 rupees. In Somalia, it is 140 rupees. Sir, the bottle of Coca-Cola costs 60 rupees in Somalia. In India, it's 32 rupees. Sir, the cost of bread in Somalia is 81 rupees. In India, it's 38.7 rupees. 
So the cost of one kilo of apples, one kg of apples is 380 rupees per kg in Somalia. Honorable member, you have 10 seconds to conclude. I will seek the indulgence of the chair to complete. I am an independent. I don't have a party to take time from, so please kindly oblige me. Sir, just to put these things in perspective, ma'am, what, what do we get in return is some a question which was asked by the opposition. Sir, the population of England is almost 5.6 million. The size of the world's biggest uh, healthcare program, which is also known as the universal healthcare program, is almost 89 times the size of England. That is what we get in return, sir. We, we get the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, which is the world's largest affordable housing project. We get the largest direct benefit uh, uh, scheme in the world in the form of Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samanidhi Yojana. We also get Sir Sikshaka Abhyan, one of the largest education programs in the world. Honorable Member, 20 seconds. Please conclude. Ma'am, uh, Honorable Chair, I'd like to seek indulgence. I'd like to complete my speech. I'm an independent. I don't have a party to take time from. Please oblige. So another point that has echoed in, the, in this chamber is how the Honorable Finance Minister has not taken names of many states. And allegations have been made that focus was on Bihar and Andhra Pradesh. Sir, I looked up the budget speeches from 2004 to 14. Not once in these 10 years did the UPA government mention more than, the more than the names of six, seven states. States like Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan were, con were conveniently ignored. Sir, interestingly, not mentioning BJP rule states is still un understandable. But during the UPA Raj, the state of Tamil Nadu also did not find any mention in six budgets out of the 10. Sir, since we have, I'm just concluding, sir, since when has not mentioning a state's name become a parameter of allocating resources to it? I want to conclude that my state is Haryana. It was not mentioned in the budget, but it got 13,632 crores. And I'd like to acknowledge and thank the Honorable Prime Minister and the Finance Minister for doing this much. Jai Bharat. Thank you very much. Honorable Member Shri Breechlal, 14 minutes.